Hi, today I'm going to do a quick little review and install video for this LED indicator that I found off eBay. It's sold by this Flying XYS. Um, if you search for LED indicator V1.0 on eBay, you should see it. It's about nine bucks and it's, it's really cool. So uh, this is going to go uh, and be installed on my quadcopter. This is a Bumblebee, well what's left of an original Bumblebee and I've printed up uh, upgraded arms, um, you know, a camera mount for my Horizon. Telemetry, telemetry set and um, you know this is it gets pretty crowded right uh, I've got an APM 26 drive in it all um, APMs are great little you know controllers but the problem is that the LED indicator which you can kind of see here is very very faint especially in broad daylight so the original reason for the crash I had was low battery and you can't really hear the buzzer at high altitude uh, or you know if it's flying around and it's windy so having an LED indicators is pretty critical and that's where I kind of put these guys in right I want to kind of have one mounted here on the front between these two fiber plates uh, and then another one on the back so that regardless of the orientation if I'm filming I can see if it's recording I can see if it's a low battery if it's lost GPS and um, you know regardless of which way it's pointing so cool little device highly recommended for anyone with a quad very simple to install and I'm going to show you how that's wired up here so this is the board you can see there's three watt LEDs there's four of them each one of them different color you got white you got red you got uh, green and blue and uh, input wise this this works over 5 to 50 volts so um, you know I'm going to draw out this board and you can see here you know this this guy here is going to be your ground that's going to be your source ground and this is going to be your um, you know, source voltage, which is anywhere between 5 and 30 volts. So I'm going to be running this off 11.1 .1 volts, you know, basically a 3 cell, um, which should be fine, but you can pretty much run it on anything. The more, uh, the more power, the brighter it's going to be. They're already pretty bright, so when you, uh, you test it in, uh, on the bench, you know, make sure it's pointed away from you because it'll be, it'll be quite bright. Um, the remaining five pins here, these are going to be your controls. So you've got your, you know, just your ground. Um, this does work without the ground, but I'd say make sure it's hooked up um, because it's the way it was designed and you don't have any signal noise problems in, in the air. Um, and then you've got your white. I usually tie this into the APM's uh, motor LEDs, which, you know, are from, you know, anywhere between A7 to A11. That way it's kind of like it'll flash when it's armed. You can you can customize this and you can move them around however you want. This is just you know an example. Uh, and then you've got your uh, you know red. Uh, this is should be for camera. Um, then you've got your green, and you've got your blue, which is going to be your GPS. And I'm going to link to the site where they have these pinouts if you want to change it out but this GPS is on A6 um, so A6 red can be anything you know uh, you can tie it into the buzzer which is A5 um, if you want to have you know just a status indicator when it arms when it disarms um, and it should be pretty simple so let me move this across here and just show you this how it hooks up right so um, the cool thing is it does provide they do provide uh, when you purchase this a nice little transparent heat shrink tube so you can you know slide it in here when it's when you've tested it and it's done you're done with the soldering I use straight just cables um, we've got you know two males for the power because you don't want to have the actual power uh, with males inside here because carbon fiber is conductive and you could short so it's the opposite and then over here we've got you know the female jumper so that I can plug directly into the board um, you count from 0 to 11 uh, from this side, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. So, um, once it's done and you tested it, you can mount it. I'm going to mount this guy here. You can also mount it pretty much anywhere. I may make a, a 3D print and have it downward facing so I can have it overhead, uh, depending on what I'm filming. And then, you know, of course, you can mount it on motor, mount it on the arms, underarms, wherever you want it. Really, really nice and configurable. So, uh, this guy, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to move this guy over here get this guy powered up and I've previously ran some a tap into the to the voltage so 
um, get this guy on ground and then get this guy on power if uh, you wire it up right you should see a little red LED indicator this means the board's got power let's kind of bring this all back together I'm still in the process of rebuilding this guy so um, it'll take a little while all right Got caught up there on the video cable. Alright, so get the APM back up on there. You can see here, here's the LEDs. Uh, ground, you just want to grab the ground cable. And, you know, try to see if you can make sure you get the right color so that you don't get confused, especially if you're rewiring it in the middle of, uh, of whatever. So I'm just going to grab any ground here. That's the rail closest to the edge. You can, you know, see it here. And then, um, you know, let's just grab pretty much any one and I'm going to do four so it's zero one two three four uh, and then it's the the pin closest to the edge um, you know if you want to do if you do the one in the middle you'll see that it's always powered it's never going to be on off so you, know, you grab that guy uh, just you know grab all of them and you'll see them light up Right, and I don't have a GPS or anything hooked up, but you can see here, got the red one tied into the status, which should match with the flashing one on the board. And then, you know, feel free to play around with what you want each light to indicate and, and uh, you know, go from there. But that should be it, and, and install will look something like this. And I'll post the second one of the configuration later. Um, but this is the broad strokes and how to get it installed and running. Uh, you can actually see this is quite blinding, so uh, going to be great in daylight, very visible from afar. But you know, you're not going to have to worry about uh, crashing your copter because you don't see the battery dying. So anyway, that's it. Good luck.